Ow, ow, ow. You can take the kid out of Cooper Petey, <laughs> but you can't take the Cooper Petey out oh of the Oh my god, you ready? Kid. You ready? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Um, I'm making a home for the Tooth Fairy, that's why. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jasper. No wonder your feet are hurting. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, when I left your broken hill, I went into the hardware store, wasn't it? Yes, home. Home hardware. There you go. And I grabbed some chicken wire, and this is a contraption that I think is going to get the problem. Now, come over here, we'll show you what's actually going on. My drama. We can't see in there, so I might have to get a torch. Aha, now we can see. Can you see it down in there? I'll try and go really close in. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to have to move the GoPro out of the way so I can give this a good crack. We'll film you, hey? Oh, see awesome. how you go. <laughs> you can see me, see me going like that. Yeah. Yeah. All those faces. Okay. Oh, you were perfect there with the torch, Katie. Last night, she wasn't so good. No, I shouldn't say that. It was a bit average though, wasn't it? Can you do it, Jasper, do you think? Da -da. Da -da. Oh, and also, I wanted to mention about the... Peterborough yep. mini rail. Yeah, the mini railway next door. We'll have to go and check that out, it's hey? It's still under construction, so I wouldn't say <laughs> buying a train and putting it on there. Yeah, but we can go and see what they're, what they're doing with the tracks, hey? Yee-haw! I love train. That train. wasn't here at all last time we were here. No. All right, how are we going? Any luck? Still not here, is it? All right, uh, yeah, kind of. I, I've... <laughs> Kind of not. Mm. Right. It could, be, <laughs> could be right. Back to Broken Hill to buy 30 more meters. <laughs> oh my goodness. 30 no. meters. Alright, right, hang on a second. Let's try this again. There's a washing gun. I'm deep prickling. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mate. You ready? We're going to go for a bit of a walk and then we'll play a bit of footy. Yeah. I had to give up on the diesel recovery mission. Yeah. Mission aborted. I won't say we failed yet because I <laughs> am not giving up on this. Even one if I have to drain the tank, fail. I'm getting my nozzle back. Anyway, I can't I can't see how it's gonna hurt anything, but no. oh, you know when things just just get you? Yeah. I don't know. Well Jeff agreed, my yeah. lovely neighbour. Yeah, he came over. So she'll be right. She'll be right, mate. Uh, which is great. So, and uh, and I'm going to give you a plug now. He also said, and I received your email on Uluru today in my inbox. I'm going to go and read that and have a watch tonight. So, if you haven't already, go on to our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com, and subscribe to the email. Be like Jeff. <laughs> yes. Subscribe. Yeah. It's free. We won't ever spam you, but you get a uh, a really great email, jam packed with lots of information, all yeah. the videos, the blog, podcast link. Everything. It's a nice way for us to stay in touch. Yeah. All right. Jasper and I are going to go check out the new miniature railway. Good. I'm going to it's not open yet, is it? Under construction. Under construction. Boom. Look at this. Wow, well, what do you call that? Yoga. Yep. <laughs> this is this yoga. And look, they've already got one in. And it will turn around to get all the trains on this other. Love it. here in Peterborough this morning but it feels like it feels heaps cold below zero it's like yeah. the Arctic it's a 
yeah, absolutely. Steamy. Steamy for Steamtown. <laughs> okay. We have got one of the best legs of our road trip mm. happening today. I love this road trip part because we're heading to a prohibited area, yeah. the southern boundary of Woomera, where people just disappear, <laughs> alien abduction, stuff like that, Area 53. He's joking. I yeah. hope. <laughs> it's really pretty, actually, this stretch from Peterborough through to almost Port Augusta, right? Yeah. And then you hit the highway. It's basically one road. <laughs> so um, where we're staying is a great spot that we pulled into last time, didn't we? But we didn't stay there. It's an RV yeah. rest stop. You're allowed to stay for 24 hours. It's called Lake Heart. And it breaks up the drive between where we are here and Cooper Pedy. It's about halfway. Okay, 343 kilometres yep. drive. So a pretty easy drive day mm. when you look at distances. Like anything between three or 400 kilometres a day I think is perfect. perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, you know, there's going to be days when we have to do over 500 kilometres, but today's mm-hmm. one of the good ones. Yes. And then Coobs. <gasps> I'm so excited Coober to get P. back to is, This is awesome. It is such a stunning mm. landscape too. I mean, it goes for miles, but yeah. it just changes and keeps you intrigued, you know. Isn't it remarkable how the outbacks in each state are so different? Like, yeah. outback New South Wales, stunning. But it's literally as soon as you cross the border into South Australia, it is so different and the outback is so different. I love it. I'm going to put together a Drone Australia. Yeah. Clip. I've already started. It's already an hour and fifteen minutes long. So, uh, it just it is amazing some of the footage that we're able oh, to capture. This country. All right, ready to go? Yes. 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 Get the car Let's on. Get the it. heater on. All right, yes. here we go. <laughs> Take me to your leader. <laughs> Okay, we are at Port Augusta BP, the ultimate, most advanced fuels. That's actually what the sign says. Uh, okay, diesel is $1.95.9 a litre. Hey, back under the $2 a litre. Thank you, Port Augusta. And I keep saying it, that it is going to go up, and believe me, it is, but uh, probably from here on in. So, fill up here, hit the road. We've uh, got about 200 kilometres now to... Lake Heart, if I remember that right. And it's still early, so it's so good when you kick off the day early, isn't it, Katie? Oh, it's the best. All right, let's get a little sneaky snack while we're here and get on the road. Okay, Jasper's asked for hun- Hungry Jack's chips. <laughs> oh, it's just up there. I, I could go one of those hash browns. 
All right, let's see what we can find. Okay, we decided to stop in Woomera because last time we were here, the museum was temporarily closed. Well, can you believe it? It is temporarily still closed. Yes. So I don't know how temporary that is, but- they, They're renovating apparently. They are renovating. So yes. look, that's good. But this place is really interesting and uh, it was, I guess, became a prohibited region, the Woomera area back in 1947 it's a joint project between the UK government and the Australian government to test long-range missiles and then they moved into space in fact they did so many launching of rockets here for space that they were second only to NASA and yes. Cape Canaveral yeah that's right at its height and even the size of the area it's currently 122 thousand square kilometers just a little but, parcel of land yeah but it was almost double wow. that size so just incredible well there you go all right maybe third time lucky and the museum will be open yeah. but for now let's get on the road i can't wait to get to lake hart oh, because we're no. going to cook up a new dish it is potato bake on the weber yes. and it, it's a good hour and a half to two hours so it's yeah, gonna, yeah late but, lunch oh, early tonight gosh. i think I'm going to cook enough for tomorrow as well. I'm hungry. Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Let's go medium. It's about endurance. But you gotta speed up on the hill because there's nothing you can do. Okay, done. Please don't injure yourself. We are hundreds of kilometers from anywhere. Bye, yeah? Mum. <laughs> there's Mum up there Ready? doing the Starlink. <laughs> okay. Set. Go. Yeah. Medium speed. Hi, Katie. Love you. Get us connected.
Wow. I believe it. I'm Boy, kicking his very bad. little butt. Boy. Small wins as a dad, isn't it? When you can still beat your six year old. I don't know how much longer that's going to be for, though. Oh, I have to rest. Amazingly big, isn't it? temperature for you today Jasper? Chilly. Yes. <laughs> chilly, chilly on, again. Chilly yeah. on the really. And we've got quite a few more chillier days coming our way. I think so. I think so. Especially once we get out to Uluru. It's, uh, it'll get down in those mm, curtain springs. Two, three degrees. Oh yeah. Okay last night Lake Hart peaceful. You'd think you know being this close to the main road and the train track. Yes. That would be noisy, but it wasn't. No, no noise at all. I mean, a couple of trains went past, but they're so quiet. And the Wikicamps reviews all say that, and you're a little bit like, oh, mm. really, really? Yeah. People, are you telling the truth? It is actually so quiet and peaceful here. And they put it into whisper mode, the trains, as they're going past. Yeah, and mm. hardly any road noise at all. And the campground itself lights out for everybody really early. I think we were up <laughs> the latest getting some work done. So beautiful overnighter. And... Can't beat that view. Wow. I love that there is actual water in the lake. There wasn't last <gasps> time we were here from that? our memory. Somebody told us that's really rare. Yeah, it probably is. I mean, uh, and then to get down there with Jasper Roo and run around and check out the salt flats and how cool was that? Well, it was awesome actually. We were. Oh, you were rally cars. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we were rally cars. That's right. And what about going through the big tunnel? Oh, that was excellent. Yeah. And my echo, and <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. All right. Now, we're on our way to Cooper PD. We're going to go via Glendamba, which is where mm. we stayed last time. Uh, it's only 70, 75 clicks up the road, and then Cooper PD, I think, is about 350 or just shy of that. Yeah, that's right. So it should be a fairly easy drive day. I mean, one road, so you can't really get lost if you just... Stay on the road. We go to the underground. Oh, I love Cooper Petey. There is something so special about Coobs, as you call it. Do you know what's good is that once you go to Cooper Petey, it never leaves you, yeah. literally, no. <laughs> because of the white <laughs> dust is in everything. You cannot get it out. We'll show you that as we get to it. Yeah. Glenn Dambo, let's get on the road. Do you know what? It's a really good point. Turn that down. It's a really good point. I think we're all going to need new wardrobes after this trip. So <laughs> a good tip, and we'll put this in the ebook. you know, don't pack all your best gear. Pack some stuff that, hey, if you've got to get rid of it at the end of the trip, recycle it or whatever, Finish. you're okay with that because the red dirt, the, the white dust in Cooper Petey, 
it never it comes out. It is so unique. Awesome. It's amazing. It to me, because I, I can craft it. <laughs> there you go. The crafty kid is You spoken. know what to do with your stuff. Let's do it. Righto, family. Feel good's on the road. Woohoo! Here we go. No way, we got that from Dambo BP, uh, they've had a bit of an upgrade since we were last here. You can camp out the back, there's a restaurant and a pub, which is great with a massive fireplace, which is good for those chilly desert nights. Okay, $1.99.9 cents a litre here, so we're still under $2 a litre. So maybe my theory on it getting dearer as we're going out back was wrong. Anyway, yet to be seen. Maybe when we get to Curtin Springs, it's gonna shock the out of us. All right, let's go in and pay. We'll hit the road. We are making our way to Cooper Pedia. We left nice and early this morning too because we want to have a little bit of extra time in Cooper Pedia. All right, let's do it. Walked in here. You, you Look at you, you jelly. There you go, Hi. 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 <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> I'm Jasper. All right, eh? Go a little dirt. Look, there's his shot he got. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Matt's going to pick That's up awesome. a whole heap of cattle from Alice Springs. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you for a ride in the bus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, That's a pretty good. sweet rig you got there, Matt. Yeah, it's good, yeah. It's only two years old. Yeah. yeah, wow. How good's that? <laughs> yeah, thanks for my hat. <laughs> good job, Matt. Matt and his hat. Looks cool, it suits you. Very cool. <laughs> Righto, you two. Take me home, country road. Let's do it. I actually love that song, uh, and especially hearing Jasper sing it. Although after about the 30th time on loop that he's singing it on repeat in the car, my brain's going to explode. But I love it. I wouldn't change for the world. It is the best road trip tunes when you've got them. I've just got to start to teach him a few more so that we can... <laughs> Maybe I only hear songs once or twice. <laughs>
water fill station. This is an awesome facility actually. You can fill your tanks with potable water. So we're gonna fill right up, do some more washing. Washing is never ending, of course. Uh, and then we're only a few minutes to our hip camp that we're staying at, which is Cooper Pity Views. Uh, we're here with some other fellow vanners. And unfortunately, at the moment, the, um, the machines, they are tap and go with the card. Last time we pulled through, it was a really quick and easy process. They are currently, as of the time of us recording this, out of order. So it does say to uh, fill up and then go and make payment at the council next door. So we'll head over and pay our dues for our water from memory. It's really inexpensive. So anyway, we'll update you on that once we go and, and fix them up for filling up our tanks. But a great service here, considering you're so far from anywhere, it's awesome to be able to pull into town and fill up your tanks, especially if you're gonna be camping off grid like we are. Awesome, all right? Look at this hive of activity happening here. Okay, update on the water from the Cooper Pedy fill point. I've just popped next door to the visitor information centre and the council officers. Spoke to Barry, lovely man, and I paid five dollars. That was for approximately 150 litres of water. Uh, it starts at a dollar, and depending on how much you use and fill up, depends on how much you pay. But I said to him, "Oh, look." take me up to five dollars that'll be more than enough for what we've put in the van today and he was lovely you can pick up all of your brochures and things in there as well and of course find out and book tours and and all the best things to do while you are in Cooper PD all right here's the fan bam still chatting Okay, it's not that often that you find me hanging out under a clothesline in Cooper Petey. All right, we've put the ground dog in here. This is the problem. It literally is just all of this loose fill that came out of the house that is underground over there. So I thought I'd give the big dogs a go. So if this works, you're gonna see the video. If it doesn't, you'll never know it existed. Here we go. Going anyway. Good job, Husby. Need to hang out under the clothesline more often. I got it in, but can I get it out? <laughs> Been making you hungry, Polly. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, I'm so good. excited about this new recipe on yes. the Weber. Yeah, awesome. We've never done potato bake on the Weber. Why haven't we? Anyway, we're giving it a go so easy. I think I've always been a little bit like, oh, it's probably going to be too hard. It doesn't get any easier. I used five to six little salad potatoes, just that little size. We've got a Weber baby Q, so we can't have anything too big on the Weber. So this is a perfect size, five to six little baby white potatoes, pre-washed, ready for a salad or a potato bake. I just slice them up fairly thinly, about half a centimeter. You want them to cook fairly quickly. What else? Uh, spring onions, just chop them up. Some mushrooms, we're of course pescatarian, vegetarian, so we're not putting in any bacon, but of course you could add that to your potato bake as well. And then just layered, so a bit of spray on the bottom. Layer the first lot of potato slices down, throw in some spring onions, throw in some mushroom, 
cover that in cheese, of course. Mixed herbs, we've got here, yum, a little bit of salt and pepper. Then do that second layer again, but instead of adding cheese, we've added thickened cream, 300 mils of thickened cream. I stirred in a little bit of crushed garlic into that at the end as well, because who doesn't love garlic? And we're not adding the cheese to this layer. So it's an hour and a half on the web app, broken up into three half hour segments. I'm gonna cover this in alfoil. Cook the first 30 minutes with the alfoil on to really get the potatoes cooking. Then for the second 30 minutes... Medium heat? Medium heat. So preheat the Weber, good point, uh, for the baby cue to high for 10 to 15 minutes. And mm -hmm. then when you put it in, turn it down to that. It's called the roast setting. It's the middle medium heat setting. Um, so 30 minutes with alfoil on, 30 minutes with alfoil off, and then the final 30 minutes, throw on that that glorious last layer of cheese that we all love and that'll brown up and the cheese then is not going to burn having been in the Weber for so long. And then fingers crossed, it is the most delicious thing that we've ever eaten in Kuba Pedi. <laughs> love it. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. How good is this view? Got a time lapse going on out there. It's spectacular here. And we'll talk about Kuba Pedi views next. Yeah, okay. Cool. We'll put this recipe up on our website as well, as a blog, I think, because I'm certain that it is going to be so good that we'll want to share it. Yeah. Oh, convection tray and trivet on the Weber as well. Good point, okay, Katie Kay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, da, 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 da. What do you do? Don't drop it. <laughs> How bad would that be? <laughs> All right. Good job, go. Paulie, heating that yeah. up for me. Straight on, look at that, perfect fit for our baby Q. Sweep down, turn it down. All right, glass of wine? Uh, yeah, and a timer. Okay, done. I'm gonna crank a fire in that fire pit in a little bit as well. Okay, first 30 minutes is up. Put it lit up. Take our alfoil off. Oh, swimming. Look at that. It just smells so good. Anything on the Weber smells good, don't you reckon? Especially when it's got potatoes and cream in it. <laughs> and garlic. Look at that. Yummo. All right. Love it. Goodbye. Reset the timer. Another 30 minutes. Come around. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll empty shoes. <laughs> Rocks in the shoes. Okay, last 30 minutes. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Hello, mate. Hello. How are you going? Look at you. You look like a miner. You are a miner. A miner that looks like a miner. That's weird. Can, can you? <laughs> yeah, I'll do your shoes in a sec. Just oh, putting some painful. cheese. It's painful. Hard. Don't oh be shy, gosh. Katie. No, I'm going to use all of it because there's oh, only... come on. Only a little One bit. One mouthful. <laughs> One mouthful. Yeah, okay, I'll save a little bit for you. Mm. Oh. <laughs> wow. Last nice little bit, and the rest of the packet is for just for mm. mouth. Okay, close it up. 30 minutes. Let's see how we go. <gasps> I can't wait to eat it. Look at that fire's roaring fire's now. It's cranking now. Close that guy. Awesome. Oh, oh you, you crazy kid. Look at your white face. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so what's happened here? What's the problem? Painful rocks. Painful rocks? I got one out. Oh, yeah, that would be painful. Can't even get your boots off. Ow, ow, ow. You can take the kid out of Cuba Petey, <laughs> but you can't take the Cuba Petey out oh of Oh my gosh, the you ready? Kid. You ready? Are you kidding me? <laughs> What are you doing, mate? Um, I'm making a home for the Tooth Fairy, that's why. <laughs> oh, oh Jasper. No wonder your feet are hurting. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging in this little, like, yeah. crack that's you... been in the... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ground for, like, centuraries. Look at these socks. Centuries. <laughs> centuraries. <laughs> Ah, that feels good. Oh, mate. I'll talk about pain. You'll be moving underground. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Sure, we can move underground. Righto.
Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So good. Yeah. In fact, what I'm going to do is just turn the Weber off and mm -hmm. just leave it in there for a minute until we're ready because it'll keep it hot. You're ready. I'm, I'm so ready. <laughs> right, all good. Where's our child? Uh, He's over there, isn't he? Buried in a hole somewhere. Let's have a look. All right, good boy. We got it all going on in here, don't we? You right? Yep. Okay. How we go? Look at that now. Oh my god, it looks amazing. So we had no hour and a half plan, and we ended up with pretty well a two-hour bake, but that is the result. It was off for the last half hour though, right? The Weber was off and it was just in there staying warm and toasty and delicious. So excited. And look at our little man. He no longer looks like Hi. he's just part of the environment. What are you Hi. doing? Reading some barefoot. Oh, reading your barefoot book. Good boy. Alright, let's do it. Okay, chuck it on the on the Weber thing. Yelch. Yummo. Boom, we're done. Oh, Brink excited. full of chili flakes. Yeah, chili on everything for us. I'm going in, I'll give you the verdict. All right, please do. That's <laughs> a happy base. Super simple, super delicious. The Cooper Petey potato bake on the Weber. Cooper Petey Views. It's one of our favourite hip camps anywhere around Australia and it's so good to be back here. And I had the opportunity to catch up yesterday afternoon with Karen, the owner of this really unique property. And it's so good to be back because when we were here a couple of years ago, she was very new. She only had a handful of sites. Now she has the ability to cater up to 14 vans, which is just awesome. And you get those just endless, spectacular views out over this really unique landscape of Cooper Pedy and the beautiful breakaways as well, which is a must visit if you do come and have a few days up your sleeve here in Cooper Pedy. What's awesome is that you can bring your van, obviously, and she does offer power hookups as well. But if you wanted that truly unique Cooper PD experience and you wanted to have a night out of your van and in one of their famous underground houses, Karen has a B and B as well. And she showed me through yesterday afternoon, so we're gonna share some of that footage with you now. Look at this. Do you know what I've noticed immediately, Karen? Yeah. Is how much warmer it is in here than it is outside. Yeah, and conversely, wow. well, it's so much cooler in here than it is in summertime oh, than outside. It's constant temperature in here. I haven't really measured it for a while, but it would range from 19 to about 23 degrees. Wow, that's amazing. And yeah. that's, that's obviously why everybody in Cooper Petty lives, lives underground. Like that's this. right, exactly. It's so fascinating, yeah. really, isn't it? And it's so unique to anywhere yeah. else in Australia. Yeah, it is. And you look at the, the patterns on the walls. These are natural, and they've just been sealed with concrete. You know, look at the pattern down the walls down here with the light glowing on it. Isn't that awesome? And that's the marks, is it, that the uh, drilling? The tunnel yeah. machine makes, yes. The rollers at the end of the tunnel machine. So it's just unique. It's beautiful. It's so. How long have you been in Cooper P for? Um, since the um, end of uh, 2017. Okay. And, and what made you come out here? This. Yeah. 
this, I, I had an ambition for 15 years. I had an ambition that I wanted to live in a, in a dugout. Wow. And I wanted to live underground. And now you're living your dream. Oh, absolutely. I, I came that. here to retire and now I'm doing it and I'm running a business and everything. So it's changed my life. It's so amazing. How good is that? A great option if you're here for a few nights and you do want that unique experience. Okay, we're about to hit the road. We're headed over the Northern Territory border today, which is super exciting. We are going to pull up stumps at the Colgara pub. It's the first or last pub in the Northern Territory, depending on which direction you are travelling in. And we're going to leave you with the experience we did when we were in Coober PD last time, which is Noble Tours. And this is one that we would absolutely recommend that you do you will get all of the highlights everything that is on offer here in Cooper Pity in one fantastic really reasonably priced tour and Aaron who owns Noble Tours is an absolute legend so make sure you put that on your list for when you're in Cooper Pity bye Okay, we have just enjoyed one of the mm. best experiences that we have had to date. Noble Tours mm. Australia here in Cooper PD. Wow. Yeah, it really was wow. And it was an excellent half day tour with Aaron. What I love about it is that it revealed the true character of Cooper PD and we got to see and experience many places that we quite possibly would have missed had we just been traveling through. Yeah, look what I loved about it most is that Aaron picked us up. Yeah, <laughs> in <laughs> his awesome four wheel oh, drive truck. Totally awesome and th that really is a, a huge plus, yeah. you know, if you're normally the driver, to have someone, you know, pick you up and then tour you around on the five hour tour, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, there was about seven different stops in this tour, mm -hmm. so it is jam packed and amazing. The first part of our tour was to visit Umuna Opal Mine and Museum. Talk about a deceiving entrance into an underground experience like nothing we've ever done before. Yeah, it truly is an incredible facility. Okay, so it starts with a private guided tour through the mine and it covers off all of the different opal mining practices that have been happening over the last hundred years here in mm -hmm. Coober Pedy. It also covers off the traditional owners, the song lines, and how the Aboriginal people have survived in this region over the thousands of years that they've been coming through this land. And then one of the real highlights was to actually head into an underground home. Oh, so cool. This. To really see how the local people actually yeah. live here. There is almost two and a half thousand residents here and a majority of them do actually live underground. In these dugouts. Yeah, and that is really to do with the fluctuation in temperature. Mm. I mean, in the summer, the height of summer, they have temperatures that reach 50 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And in the winter, like now, it can get down to freezing and below freezing at night. Mm -hmm. What is so good about having an underground home, as we learnt, is that it pretty well gives a constant all year temperature of a balmy 24 degrees Celsius. Yep, that's my kind of temperature. <laughs> okay, from there we headed to a very famous location here in Cuba PD, and that was the Serbian Orthodox Church. I really loved this experience and walking in to this church that is completely carved into the sandstone with its beautiful and huge stained glass windows. It was a really moving experience, particularly with that underscore of the, the choral hymns that were playing. Even Jasper really was intrigued by this experience. And again, another insight into how the locals here live in Coober Pedy. Yeah, it really is quite remarkable that 
everything is carved out and is underground, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. From there, we boarded the fantastic four-wheel drive all-terrain vehicle and headed out to check out some of the landscape mm. that surrounds Cooper PD because it is very unique. And in fact, you can see why a number of blockbuster Hollywood films have been filmed here. Yeah. All right, the first stop was the Moon Plains. What an incredible environment, vast and seriously like you could be on another planet or the moon. Mm, it is that lunar landscape <laughs> that you see in all of those blockbuster films. What I loved was listening to Aaron's knowledge about the glaciers and the geology and the history over the years and the rock formations. There's fossilised wood out here. This is an incredible part of Australia and Aaron's knowledge is amazing. Yeah, that's true. He narrates the whole experience, but it's not too much. Mm. I think he's so well humoured mm. as well. Mm -hmm. And he's, as you said, knowledge, not only on the landscape and the environment and the history of Cooper Pedy, but on the flora and fauna yes. as well, yeah. really made for an educational and entertaining experience. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And then we took a short drive just up the road to see the dingo fence. Yes, a revisit for us. We got to see the dingo fence at Cameron Corner only a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. But then to see this part of the mm. fence here, I mean, some of the oldest installation of this fence line, it now stretches over 5,600 kilometers. Just hard to actually <laughs> fathom. Mm -hmm. um, something we learnt actually with Aaron was that it used to be over 9,000 kilometres long. So, yeah, I mean, it, it is remarkable. We even got to see one of the oldest posts there. It was a mulga tree post for the fence. I mean, it's over 100 years old and still stood the test of time and in this environment. It's quite amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, then the highlight, I think, of the whole trip really <gasps> yes. was to go to the breakaways. This very significant cultural area is breathtaking as far as landscape goes. I don't think we've seen anything quite like this in our travels to date and it was breathtaking and spectacular at every turn. The colours of the land out here. All those ochres, that's right, just from white <sighs> all the way to deep red. I mean it really was quite an incredible spectrum of those wonderful earthy tones. Mm -hmm. And to be able to drive in the four-wheel drive truck mm. right up on top of the ridge to get both perspectives looking down into the valley and upon the breakaways was just amazing. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> it because it is a, a culturally significant location and it is a restricted zone. Being able to head out on a tour like this with mm -hmm. Aaron and Noble Tours really gave us a little bit more of an insight than we probably wouldn't have got had we yeah. self-driven, I guess. And then a really fantastic touch to this whole experience mm -hmm. was getting called back to our four-wheel drive bus for an Australian sparkling wine. Thank you, Aaron. Mm, that was very mm. nice and a moment to just enjoy that spectacular view. Yeah. Absolute highlight. Mm. Okay, the tour hadn't quite finished though. We had something really quite special and it's something that you can't get on any of the other tours that operate around town and you certainly can't self-drive to this location mm -hmm. and that was to head out to the opal mining fields and check out aaron's own personal claim site mm -hmm. it, it is incredible it literally is like entering another world out here and yeah. the landscape is incredible with the huge piles of rubble, the mullock piles, the tailings from previous mm. mine sites all around. Aaron's claim site was absolutely incredible and I felt as if we could have been anywhere in the world standing in front of this huge sandstone cliff face with these tunnels carved out by these amazing machines. Yeah and now he's in there literally by hand looking through some of the area that is still yet to be mined. He mentioned that mm when they've done studies on the entire opal fields over this hundred years of mining they've barely touched the surface mm. they estimate that they've only mined around 10 percent it's hard to that's a hundred mm. years of mining incredible hard it is to believe. incredible mm. look it is a very unique place Cooper Pedy, and to get onto a tour like this to actually have the knowledge of a local guide really made this experience and our time here so good absolutely and small family business operated so awesome to support yeah. something like this when you do visit Cooper Pedy.
Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family, and happy trails.